what is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel as you already know oneplus rooms are one of the best ever rooms available for all the devices right now almost every device supports oneplus rooms or also you can use the gsis if you want to and this is one of the best rooms out there in the terms of ui firstly ui because i personally love to choose oneplus oxygen os rooms oxygen os ui is one of the smoothest and one of the clean uis out there and why i like this build i already shown you some features of oneplus custom rooms in some previous videos so you can go and check it out then this one is oneplus 7 pro custom room based on android 10 available for redmi note 8 users and the developers for this build is Cody and umang both of these developers build this oneplus 7 pro room available for redmi note 8 and how's the performance and how's it going on which are some cool and great kind of features in this build also let me tell you that i am not gonna give you the geekbench scores test right now from right now now onwards because the geekbench scores are different in other devices also and it is not good to share you the bad or wrong geekbench score because sometimes in my case geekbench score is good but in your case geekbench score is not good it depends upon your device hardware also that's why I'm not gonna share the Geekbench courses from now on. Let's get started. Let's check out OnePlus 7 Pro custom room on Redmi Note 8. Guys, yes, first of all, this is OnePlus Room. We have the OnePlus Launcher pre-installed, which is one of my favorite things out there. OnePlus Launcher is one of the smooth and cool cool launcher available for any device, and it's available for a lot of devices which you can install on a device, but it's not available directly. Uh, you need a ported OnePlus Launcher for a device, but it's good if you have OnePlus 7 Room like this, OnePlus 7 Pro Room, which has a OnePlus Launcher pre-installed. It has a launcher layout customizations, a drawer customization you can also choose a custom icon pack if you want to it has the oxygen icon pack one plus icon pack and oxygen os round and these three icon packs are pre-installed other things you already know that hidden space is perfectly fine here home screen layout you can adjust add icon home screen and almost same kind of things it does not have that much customizations which you get in launch here but still it's quite good enough to use as a daily driver because it has very cool kind of features like the hidden space which is one of my favorite one and yes it has very cool looking widget which is great also you can adjust a lot of wallpapers especially in this build whenever you hold there and go to the wallpaper section it has a lot of wallpapers options available right now these are a lot so you can choose any one of them and whichever feels comfortable for you just simply apply that and these wallpapers are quite good enough so no need to worry about anything you can apply any wallpaper from here whichever you like and these wallpapers are quite good right now as you can see and almost every wallpaper is from oneplus never settle that gives you a look of never settle that looks quite impressive the thing i personally like about this build right now is the smoothness the previous builds were quite smooth and smooth enough that that was actually the over smoothness kind of thing that was holly fast but yes this one is quite good and it's not that much quite fast or you can say that is over fast it's normal and it's quite good in good enough for use as a daily driver i'm using it from past 12 to 20, 12 hours approximately and it's perfectly fine here right now also the battery backup is good and if you talk about the quick setting tiles you can adjust these kind of tiles if you're noticing i have the two rows right now and i can adjust these rows to three rows or two rows or one row whatever else i want to do how you can do that in oneplus os you don't get any option like this but in this build with the rice tweaks like this you can adjust a lot of things we're going to talk about rice tweaks later on in this video let's find out some other cool things as this is a oneplus room and yes as expected it has all the cool kind of apps available from oneplus like the calculator the calculator ui is quite good and good enough as you can see this is the history and a lot more things and calculator ui is good calculator theme is good and this is the calculator i wanted and it's perfectly fine here we have the file manager unfortunately the sd card is still not detecting because oneplus devices does not support sd card so that's why it's not available here but yes you can go to the storage option and you will see your sd card there your data will not be gone anywhere but yes at that shortcut way you can see in the categories where you will not face you will not see your sd card data yes you can use any other file manager if you want to so this is not kind of a bug for some guys this might be the bug but it's not also if you talk about the gallery we have the oneplus 
gallery pre-installed we have the photos collections and explore these kind of things and this is also one of the coolest looking gallery out there and if you want to try it out you should definitely try it out because this gallery looks quite impressive it has this kind of bar there as you can see which you can hide from the settings if you want to but that bar looks very cool so that's why it's there other things include as you can see gallery and it also has the game space option available so if you want to use the game space you can use that welcome to game space so that's also kind of interesting thing and simply start and you can add games gaming mode is on i have no games at all i'm not a gamer as you already know so that's why no games there it has one plus messaging one plus phone and one plus notes including one plus recorder so these are some one plus apps which are pre-installed which are one of my favorites out there let's move on to settings and check out some cool things in one plus room OnePlus OS has a little bit of customization, not a customizable room like Resurrection Remix or USB based rooms which are out there, but it has unique UI which has very cool kind of customizations. First of all in display, yes we have the screen refresh rate option available to 90Hz or 60Hz that is definitely not working at all because our device does not support that, but yes it's good kind of thing to, make, to get a feel of 90Hz refresh rate by showing a screenshot to your guys and prank them, yes you can do that if you want to reading mode and we have the vibrant color effect option available which is quite impressive you can see how it works and this is also one of the great feature in oneplus custom rooms available out there other things we have the night mode and other things include the screen calibration by default it will be at vivid but it's good you if you choose the natural one or you can choose the advanced one also by choosing whatever color you need but natural one is quite good and good enough it has the ambient display option which is perfectly fine but of course I will not recommend you to use ambient display because that will burn your display it's not recommended at all but still if you want to that's your choice. Status bar has the battery percentage and network speed as expected these kind of things. It has the customization options which are these. We can adjust the wallpapers, clock style and horizon light is also one of my favorite features and this is very cool kind of thing. System customization clears where you can adjust the buttons, tone, shape, icon pack, a lot of things which you can customize and preset theme include the McLaren edition theme first time here. So this is kind of a black dark theme. I don't personally use these kind of things because this illuminating light and vibrant things are quite good enough. So I don't want to use the McLaren theme and if you want to choose that's up to you. Sound and vibration kind of the same thing, buttons and gestures as you can see I'm using the full screen gestures. Every Everything is fine here. Talking about the bugs, yes, face lock is still a bug. You cannot set up the face lock as expected. So just don't expect these kind of bugs will be solved very, very soon. Unfortunately, we can't add face lock here. Sometimes I feel a little bit of slowness there, maybe because of my device, but still a little bit of slowness there, a little bit of lags there. And in my personal opinion, if you ask me, I will choose this room as my daily driver or not. Unfortunately, I'll not choose this room as my daily driver because there are other cool custom rooms available there which are quite good enough for using as a daily driver. So in my case, it's not good enough. Other things, let me show you one more thing. When you go to the utilities option, we have the parallel apps option which is quite good and we have the work life balance option available too. Let's move on to the some rice tweaks which are one of the main highlights of this build. Guys, rise mode tweaks are one of the main highlights of this OnePlus 7 Pro build available for Redmi Note 8 which has some tweaks including status bar tweaks, notification tweaks, quick settings, lock screen, buttons, miscellaneous horizon lights and high brightness mode where you can choose some status bar tweaks which include the status bar peak, maximum notification icon, status bar brightness control and clock customizations, date customizations, battery customizations and some customizations which you only get in some custom rooms like RR or Havoc OS, Evolution X, a lot more customs, custom rooms like that and this is quite good enough that you can customize your OnePlus room. A stock experience with some customizations is quite impressive. Notifications, yes you can customize your notifications also, expanded notifications, color changes and a lot more color changes as you can see mainly these are colors which you can adjust so that is little bit of cool kind of thing but i personally don't choose these colors i will rather recommend some customizations instead of colors customizations 
quick settings customizations which includes the oreo style quick settings if you want to dark quick settings icons quick setting style vibration and a lot more things a lot more things these are but still maximum customizations are for colors so if you're a color lover want to tweak some color changes then it's quite good enough for you but personally like me like my kind of guy i will not choose these kind of things rather than i will choose some customizations which are quite good enough like this randomized pin keyboard this is quite good enough disable power menu this is also kind of cool kind of feature other things include a lot of color changes as always as i already told it as color customizations are more than enough so these are the things i just wanted to share with you buttons miscellaneous and these kind of things these are the things i just wanted to share with you and if you have noticed i have a little bit of lags like this don't know why and if i wanted to rate this room in my case you can see the screen the rate from my my side is 7 out of 10 because of my recommendation so if you want to use that link is is in the description as always you can go and try it out now this was all from today's video thanks for watching goodbye